You gonna slap him? <laughs> <laughs> like what sis? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> oh Lord. All right, folks. How y'all doing? It's Saturday. Cooking with Kip. Cooking with Kip and Mama. Thank you, Mama. Cooking with Mama, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is, hey baby. Hey sweetheart. So uh, we did okra last week, but we didn't have the best reception. Mm -mm. So uh, we coming back, we're doing a replay. Replay. Fried okra. So mama got some okra over here. Well, I ain't gonna do the talking. I'm gonna let mama do the talking. And ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. It's hard All work, right. mama. So. Mama, you cooking something tomorrow? Yeah. What you cooking tomorrow? Okra again. Okra again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that's I all you Mama need to know. She's been playing in the mud today. <laughs> She's been playing in chillers today. Uh, these oh, doggone. Oh, you gonna tell about that? Uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell about them chillers. <laughs> Anthony and these dancing uh little things. It looking like Kip. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jeanette Stilson, Yvette Minor. Y'all, we not gonna waste a lot of time. Thank y'all for joining us. Mama finna do her thing. We gonna do some okra again. So we are gonna do the fried okra where we got the rice cooking. And we have bacon in the oven. They laughing the bacon, at you. Mama. We can't mm -hmm. burn the bacon. Hello, Shirley Turner. I need it right now. Yes, All right. Bacon coming out of the oven. We're having the same thing we had last Saturday. Hello, Russell Rogers. Except we're going to minus the whole cake. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Good evening, Danielle Anaya. So, Mama's about to get started on this fried okra. We got in the cooking on. Yes, ma'am. So, what are we adding to the pot? We let that pot get a little hot, y'all. So, I'm going to say hey to a few people while we turn it down. Hello, Bridget Hall, Candy Minix Copeland. Hello, Lolita, Sister Roz. Garrison is in the house. We're about to fry some of this okra. Hello, Anthony Watford. Thank you for the dancing emojis. <laughs> yes, Danielle. So her fried okra is a different version. We don't batter it at all. You'll see. She's going to show you step by step. Hello, Jenny Mastin. Tanya Wabwar. Thank y'all for joining. So it's okra season. That is what I cook. I cook okra with shrimp in it. Mary Bell, that sounds delicious. Hello, Lisa Snotty. Thank y'all for joining. Hello, Angela Walls Carthron. Linda Thompson. Cassandra MK Commons. That's good country cooking. Yes, hello. Mama adding a little oil to her bacon grease. Hello, Jeanette Stilson, Karen T. Short. Okay, so we're using some green onions today, but you can use an onion of your choice. Green onions going into the bacon grease. Thank you for the stars, Yvette Miner. Hello, Cousin Antonio Bacon. So last week, Mom cooked this in a regular stainless steel pan, so... Don't think you have to have a cast iron, but we all know how good cast irons do. You want a spoon? You good? Ooh, them onions smell good in that bacon grease. Mm -hmm. Hello, Larry Williams. So she's adding her pre-washed and sliced okra or cut okra. Hello, Deborah Carson, Jesse Patterson. Hello, Sheila Miller. Thank you for the stars, Bridget Hall. And if you love okra, you love to keep the flavor of the okra. So, mom cooks it this way where we can taste all of that okra. A little bit of salt. Thank you, Trisha's, Trisha Jones from Oklahoma. Hey, Deborah Carson. Lisa Tatum slappy. Black pepper and salt is all she's using. Remember, we got the flavor from the bacon grease. And the onions. And, and the onions. onions. Yes, ma'am. 
Hello, um, oh, that's Lisa Tatum Slappy, yes. So it's fried, but it is deep fried and battered. Um, I grew up eating it with uh, battered and cornmeal. Thank you, Shirley Turner. Hello, Alice Gray Fred from Nashville. So I'm gonna move some things around for a minute. Happy Father's Day, Kip. That's from Rose Jamie Simmons Brown. Thank you so much, Rose. Hello, Tina Jenkins from Alabama. Got my mouth watering. That's Angela Walls. Thank you for joining us. And the okra is a simmering. I have a whole cast iron set that I've never used yet. My husband bought it from Amazon. Mary Bell, you better blow the dust off that thing and use it. <laughs> Hello, Deborah Carson. Thank you for the stars, Roxanne and Trisha. Rhonda Remo, hello, everyone. That's right, Mama, wear them okra out. Lolita said, I don't eat okra, but this will be, will this be crunchy when it's done? <laughs> it won't, I won't say crunchy. It's not crunchy, but it has a little crust on it and little, it's good and tender. Mm -hmm. um, but you get a chance to taste if you never really tasted the essence of okra uh, you know everybody don't like okra and I get that it was a time I didn't but it was I a think time I didn't either you really get a chance to taste the flavor of the true vegetable yes Jesse Fanning happy Father's Day from ATL thank you alright oh, put no the heat's okay, Ma? Uh, I turned it up in my bed. Okay. So we're just, in essence, frying the okra. Thank you, Trisha Ann. Hello, Alice Riri. Mm -hmm. Do you add butter, Mama? No, no. No butter. Happy Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth. Yeah, happy Juneteenth. We talked about it last night. Yes. That's right, Edna Jackson. Thank you. Hello, Pamela Dow. Thank you for the Father's Day wishes. Yes, ma'am. You ain't got nothing to do now, do you, Mommy? Mm -hmm. You making up the whole cake for last time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So no, no water, none of that, no broth, none of that, because that's going to bring out the Slime of the open. Yes. I'm over here eating a piece of bacon. You eating the bacon? Well, I'll taste make sure it's put right. <laughs> Angela said, I love okra raised in the country. My mom kept a big garden. <laughs> James James Stanley wants to know Stanley wants to know how to fry corn next time. We're gonna fry some corn tomorrow. tomorrow. Connie Ray Dean, um, we've had it with batter before. But we like it. We've come to like it this way because it, it you, you taste the okra better. Hello, Felicia Jones from Harvey, Louisiana. I've never had okra like this. Only um, I lost your comment. I'm sorry, I lost the comment. Lost it. Got away. Yes. What happened? Reading Happy Father's Day. I'm making this okra tomorrow with my collard greens. That's Pamela Dow. Oh, she's going to make something tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Sue <laughs> Berta Store. It was a time I didn't, but after tasting it, I love it. Happy Father's Day, Kip. Thank you, Sue. Valerie Amos. Hello there. Thank y'all for joining. This is the only way I cook mine, but I add a little water. Sipping on some apple juice, strawberry margaritas, and grilling for Juneteenth. All right, Alice, that sounds fun. Yeah, someone said they add a little water. And, Mama, you think, what's that, a little more bacon grease? Is it best to use small okra, Mama Kip, when you're frying it like this? Yes. You can use small or the large ones. Or the large ones. It doesn't matter. 
Okay. I think the small ones are usually more tender than what yeah. you think. Yes. Sweeter. More sweeter. Yes. The okra we had last week we got from the farmer's market. Um, this okra here was given to us from some extended family. <laughs> Hello, Yolanda Cunningham, Jacqueline White Watson, Wilson, I'm sorry. Thank y'all for joining. So you could go a bunch of different ways with this okra in the state that it's in. You can add some tomatoes, come on. Have, have stewed okra and tomatoes, which which is a big, big fan yeah. dish around here. Tell you what I've done once, just doing this okra just like this. Um, when it was just about ready, I threw some shrimp in into the okra. Someone said that earlier. Yeah, they cook it I, like that and I add I shrimp. Threw the shrimp into it, boy. And it, yeah, just, good. it just takes it to another level. Yes. Yeah. And I think somebody. I mean, we've mentioned it more than once. And what a great day to do okra. The reason why I said doing okra today, Juneteenth, it's a true vegetable from our original ancestors. Mm -hmm. Okra came to Africa on slave ships, took in people's jaws and hidden, and that's how okra came to this country. So it's we can truly say, as, a, as an African American, this this is a vegetable um, of that's our part people. of our heritage. That's right. Um, so. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why I enjoy eating okra. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it has a little a bit of sliminess, but it's not over sliminess. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. When it finishes, it don't have any of it. Okay, once it finishes, it's not. Yeah, it when did. It, when it finishes, it's not slimy at all. Okay. Thank you, Helen Tisdale, Jackie D. Ross King. Good evening, Mama Kip and Ty. Happy Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth. Edna Graham, I love okra. Anyway, it's cooked, but I've never had it like this. Gonna try it, though. Looks yummy. Yes. Over some rice, which we have the rice cooking in the back. Mama is looking so cute today with her beautiful blouse and pants. They say you cute. <laughs> Mama be so stopping. <laughs> yes, we've enjoyed our day thus far. We, um... Finished up the corn. We shook corn last night, and today we washed it and cut it off the cob and blanched some or heated up some to put in the freezer. And we'll be cooking some tomorrow. So, hello. Um, they said, "Hey, Mama." Hello. That's Deborah Carson. Yes. And the smell of okra cooking is everything. Hello, Barbara C. Simmons. I used to didn't eat okra myself. But my taste buds have changed and I've grown to love it. So this is going to go in the oven. Or you going to cook it? I did that yesterday. You know, last week. Last week, yes ma'am. Because I was making that candy. Yes ma'am. You don't have to, have to babysit it as much. Mm-hmm. When it's in the oven. Mm-hmm. Just dry it out. Sonia Sauce, love, love, okra, yum, fresh corn too, yes. Connie Redine said, how long do you cook it, mama? Is it a texture? Until, until, it, gets tender. until it gets tender. Okay, so we're going to break down, yeah. break it down and let it get tender. Okra, lima beans, corn, and stewed tomatoes, succotash. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. That if you, good. Yes, if you were raised in the South, that was Kim Graham Scott. Justina have says happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. Hello, Claudine Hamilton. Mama's shaking it, shaking it. Hello, Bonita Nelson. Rose, we love us the mama. <laughs> she said it's a blessing how we love our mama. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Claudine. 
Yeah, she's looking so nice today. I don't know why when I hit a comment, it, it disappeared, y'all. Bear with me. He right, ain't treat me right. Thank you for the stars, Gwen Bacon Jones. Thank you for the stars, Sue Berta Store. Yes, you're going to have to try it with some shrimp. Who is that? Yeah, we, yeah. Yes, that's shrimp. Teresa Guillory. Yes. She's looking so nice today. I can't sound so good. You know what Tell I like your mom, everyone. I said I like, hi. I don't know what pepper. pepper. Black pepper and okra to me is. Everything. Like, yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I like pepper. Mama, you, you've battered your okra before with buttermilk and flour or meal. How how did you cook it when you... Uh, not in my I'm lifetime. Not, not, no, I'm not... Mama's almost saying not in no, my lifetime either. I'm going to tell the truth about it. I do not like the battered okra. Uh, you don't like it? I had never had battered okra in my life. I've eaten it, but I... So, in fact, I would go places and they would have it battered and I wouldn't eat it. Because I was like, I don't eat okra like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I grew up in Mississippi eating battered okra, batter fried okra, and, it, and I liked it. I remember as a child peeling the batter off of it and eating that and oh, really? leaving the okra in my plate. Um, Mom, Howard McNeil, have you ever did pickled okra, Mama? Made pickled okra? No, I never have. Okay. Never it. Yes. Kim Graham, you're right. If you get past that, you got you something. Here. Uh, we bought Carl some. Hello, Jeanette Cox. Jackie D. Ross. Uh, my sister is doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. Forgot about it. Angela Alada. Thank you so much. Hey, Keisha Cooks. I absolutely love mom. How you guys love on mama? You only get one. That's right, Keisha. So let me extend a happy Father's Day to all the fathers as well. What you plan on doing tomorrow? Um, Chillaxing? Yeah. You deserve it, I'm a it, golf baby. lover. So the U.S. Open is on. And, of course, uh, the Hawks are playing. So I'm a Hawks fan. So a little basketball, a little golf. Mm-hmm. Hanging out with family. Nod at it every once in a while. Yeah. I don't know what it does. To my spirit, but to walk in and see you napping. See me napping? It make it yeah, it brings peace to me. Is that right? Because I'm yeah. not running my mouth. <laughs> peace. God, you look at that. I'm drinking it? iced tea. A bottle of tea today, y'all. I bought those for Lola. Oh. But you can have one. Linda Thompson, my home, Jackson, Mississippi. I love Oakland. You can also add tomatoes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the stars, Kathy Washington, Darlene Washington. Thank y'all so much. Um, you want to get something to put it in the oven? That is what I do now with batter oak. Batter oak or fry hard and eat the batter. <laughs> That's what I did, Evelyn. But now I can really, really say I really enjoy okra. You think that'll hold it? Yes, ma'am. Y'all, y'all say a prayer for mama. She cut her finger today. I had the doctor on her. Mama cut her finger. Jason Moore, let's get this party started. Jason, what you know about some okra? You eat it, brother? Sir, I'll just get it out of there, Mama. Take it out. Take it out. Okay. All right, they're transferring the okra. That cooked for about what, 15 minutes? Hello, Florence Ellison. Jean McMiller, thank you for joining. Hello, Evelyn Brown, thank you for the prayers. Jason said, You know I eat okra. <laughs> Hello, Linda London, thank you for joining. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so they've transferred the okra. Get a little piece right there. Let me see how it's doing. Is it still seasoned enough? It's a little bit more salt. A little bit more salt. For me, turn that off. We're going to add a little bit more salt. Hey, Tia Sanders. Green. Looks delicious, yes. Mama going to put it in the oven. Oh, 
and we'll leave it in the oven. Thank you, Jean McMiller, Darlene Knight. How's the rice doing? Is it done? Is the rice done? Rice is done. Okay. Rice is done. Bacon done. So we can make a plate, huh? So, Evelyn Brown, I've never seen okra like that. Dolores Watkins, good night. Thank you for joining us. Baby, you want something done? Yes, we're going to eat the okra over some rice. Love fried okra with hot water whole cakes. Sandra, we had whole cakes with okra last Saturday. But we're, going, we're not going to do the cornbread today because we're going to have it tomorrow. Hello, what type of okra is that? Never seen it prepared like that. Looks delicious. That's Malva Hall. We did uh, just fresh okra slice and we fried it in bacon grease. Bacon grease with onions, salt, and pepper. That's it. So Kip, is, he added some water in the bottom of the pan. He's going to show you how to get that out, that residue. What did you, you had, did, um, spoke on the sassafras that's in okra. Does that, have, do you say okra does the same that the, no? no? Sassafras. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to say. We were doing the gumbo and we didn't have the filet. Oh. You said. Filet, filet is made from sassafras. Sassafras, okay. Uh, actually, that's just a thickness. Tomatoes is actually. It's about to get. I, I just know the term that's called. It gets rid of the, the slime part. Yes. Hello, Gwen Slaughter Pounds. The Quincy Goins. Uh, Tia made your beer battered onion rings last night with fried oyster, shrimp, fish, and battered okra. Okay, then. Uh -huh. Succotash. Rice, cornbread. That's good eating. That's right, Kim Graham. I'm just getting the little sticky stuff from the bottom. Yes, so it'll clean well. Yeah, yes. Good. We're going to make so a plate. The reason for that, because I don't want to scrub the, the skillet, really. I try not to scrub the cast iron skillet. Okay, this meal is fine with me. All right, Sandra Carr. <laughs> Yes, so okra and tomatoes is a big thing here. Some people add shrimp to it. Um, Mom takes whole okra and puts it, cooks it on top of her beans, like butter you beans. You Mama talk about that. Yeah. You, but you usually oh, have as a, as, as a seasoning, like a, like a flavor enhancer. Right. You add it. Don't add that cooking you gotta get tender. Mm-hmm. And then I take it out. And then you take it out. Mm. Yeah, so, but you leave it whole. You don't mix don't it in. I want to cook too much, you know, and cook a part. I want to stay home. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Thank you, Lily, for sharing single to bacon. Yes. Yes, she said it's good to thicken gumbo. Elaine Hill, hello, Mama Bacon. Do your thing with them okra. Enjoy watching, y'all. Thank How you, you so it, much. Baby? Is it 400? Okay. It's good, Mama? Mm-hmm. That's cooking well. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okra on top of them beans or peas. That's tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And she'll take it out and have it to the side. So if you want a piece of okra, you can have it. Yes. You going to make a plate, baby? Or we, we let them sit in the oven? Okay. Okay. Hello, Joseph Coxum. Thank you for joining. So we didn't cook the full bag. We still have some left in this bag here. But it's already washed and sliced. James Stantley said, how do you season your cast iron pots, baby? Um, oil, a little vegetable oil. Um, rub it into the skillet. Actually, you can put it all over the skillet. Mm -hmm. And put it in the oven. Um, I usually put it at about 350 in there. Stir till it gets good and hot and smoky. Bring it out. Let it um, cool down and maybe do it again until you get that little fine, smooth little crust. It's not even a but crust. You grease a it surface. You just grease it. Yeah, grease it down with some. some oil or whatever. Yeah. I said some vegetable oil is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Put some vegetable oil on it. 
and just put it on the on the skillet until you get get a safe certain temperature, and that burns into the skillet. Okay. And, uh, I think it you can do it probably several times, but over well, how many times have you done it to get it just where I usually do it like two until it gets it. Right. Yeah. You can just put it in there and you know rub your oil on it. Mm-hmm. It does something for the cast iron. Yeah. Yes, man. Wow, a lot of people don't like to wash it. Yeah, it seals it. It seals it. Now, granted, to the, in these days and times, I'm going to be honest with you, most of the cast iron skillets that you buy out of the stores now, new, they're pre seasoned. They're pre seasoned. They're, okay. They're seasoned. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about it. Most of the old ones, if you find one that, or if somebody didn't take care of it and rust is built up, then you can. Redo that process that we're talking about. Put the vegetable oil on it, rub it, turn it up, put it in the oven to that oil adheres to it, and then do it again. Then, but you can almost feel like a smooth surface. The oil is almost baked into the skillet. Okay. Kim says she seasoned hers with fat back. <laughs> Mama, how That's you want to tell how you used to take the pot and put it in the fire, the cast iron skillet, and put it in the fire? Yeah, to burn it on. Yes, mm-hmm. Kip. If it's ready, Mama Kip will get it. Come on. I don't know. Let me pull it out, so. Mom looks good. Thank you, Danielle. Liar, is it liar, liar? Hello, Mama. You're beautiful. Thank y'all. So, Mama has it baking in the oven for a bit. Kim said, right, Kip. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in there. Just a little bit. A touch bit. Touch bit. A touch bit. Angie, um, Ramshire says av- avocado oil works best when seasoning the cast yeah, you know, iron. I, yeah. I would probably say now it is, but you know, I'm thinking about seasoning. No, no I'm thinking about back. Back in the Far day. I, yeah. I mean, I think avocado oil is new to us. Yeah. Um, and so you're right. It has a higher smoke point. So. Uh, avocado oil or grapeseed oil would be perfect for seasoning skillets now because you don't have a lot of taste to it and uh, it won't smoke as, as much so you can take the temperature higher so that would be perfect. Have you ever put salt in the skillet with the oil when you put it in the oven to season it? I've never done that. Okay. Um, I've never put my okra in the oven. That's Isabel Larry. Yeah, she's finishing it off in there. Steel wool can steel wool can remove the rust. Mama, you put yours on the fire because it had that build up around it. Yeah, when all that grease get build up on it and burns it get thick. Mm-hmm. And uh, that burns it all. Yeah. You don't you don't get that. You won't you won't get that if you use an electric stove. Right. Um, you get that on gas, and of course, back in the day, y'all used to use wood. Wood so, stove. So it was mm-hmm. yeah. Thank you, Elisa Terry. You look just like your mama, Kip. She's gorgeous. Thank you. Hey, I was looking for you, Gary Craig. How you doing, brother? <laughs> so, if you're just joining, we redid some okra this weekend to give y'all a fair shot of how mama. Makes her fried okra without the batter. She finished it up in the oven. Truly a blessing to have Mama able and well. Yes, ma'am, Kim Graham. Yes, I use vegetable oil, but I really like using the avocado oil. He's right about the smoke. Mama does look good. Thank you, Angie. All right. So, the bacon is ready. Kip been over here munching on it. And I don't know how we came up. With the bacon and the okra and the rice last week, Mom, how we come up with that? <laughs> I think because we was out there in there. What you call the farmer's market? Yes, ma'am. And we just threw something together. <laughs> um, thank you for the stars, Gary Quick. Mom looks so kind and pleasant. She is Edna Jackson. We wouldn't trade her for the world. Hi, Debbie Thompson from Indianapolis. Happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers. Thank you, Angie. Yes, y'all make sure y'all show them some love. She is the queen. Kip really loves his mom. Yes, he do. Oh, woo. what we got right there? A little heirloom tomato. Some heirloom. Yeah, look good, don't it? Yes, they do. All we need is a little pepper and salt. (laughs) 
Yes, Lord. I, I might hurt myself tonight. She is the real deal. Thank you, Isabel Larry. Isabel. Yes. I wish y'all were too, Mr. James Stanley. Make sure y'all get a good hefty plate. All I need is okra and the bacon. That's Gwen Stovall. <laughs> okra and the bacon. Some sliced tomatoes. We all bacon. So Lola gonna skip on the okra tonight. Her dad is gonna make her a BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. BLT. All right, we finna build this plate up, guys. Are you putting a little mayo on top of the tomatoes? No, Gail Bracy. We enjoy it just with a little bit of salt and black pepper. Mayo is good, especially when you do it on the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tanya Renee Stovall. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Rice is ready. Happy Father's Day, Kip, from Olivia Taylor. Thank you all. Thank Ebony you so Martin, much. happy Juneteenth. I love the way you say yes, ma'am, so Southern. That's the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, Edna Graham. So the big debate, Father's Day, Day versus Mother's Day. Y'all, we got to make sure we take care of our kings for Father's Day. You ready to take over right now? Show them much right love. Now. Just kind of getting the plate going. Oh, okay, good. Elisa Terry, it's called an heirloom tomato. Do you have a whole one, baby? Yeah. To show? I'm going to get an up close of the tomato, mama. A smaller one. Okay, this is a smaller version. They are so good. Just a raw sliced tomato. They have different colors, different shapes, which makes them unique. But heirloom, it's H-E-I-R-L-O-O-M. Uh, Good Jesus, I need some mater, some of that mater. That's Pamela Dow. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon Brown. Hey, sis, thank you for the stars, Lisa. Thank you, Sharon Brown, for the stars. Yes, so we're having fried okra, rice, bacon, and sliced tomato. Get this getting a double coverage. Kit, what you smacking on? Crash juice. Oh. <laughs> Is it where you want it, Mama? Hello, Bertha Johnson, Marion Jones. Yes, uh, yes. Sending love, hugs to everybody visiting the cemetery. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So we got a slice of tomato. Some okra and rice. This is what's called country boy meal. Country boy. All we missing is that whole cake. Right. I am new to your page. What kind of tomato is that and where do you get it? Um, you may can find it at your local farmer's market, but I'm pretty sure a fresh market a would fresh have it. fresh market them. would have it. Uh, or like a, most grocery stores or, you know, I don't know where you're specialty grocery stores are in your area. Um, but if you're in the southeast, Publix even carry them. Mm -hmm. I know they do. But if you have a Whole Foods or Fresh Market, they definitely carry them. And then it's probably a, some type of farmer's market or a local farmer. Yes, heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom. Air is H-I-E-R-L-O-O-M. So it's fresh plate. plate. Mommy, you want to taste it? You hate tasting. You don't want to taste it, Mom? I'll taste it in a minute. You're going to taste it in a minute? I'll taste it. You need a little salt and pepper? Gary Craig said, Lord, that look good. <laughs> no, I don't need it. For that tomato there, because my salt is going to come from that bacon. There you go, Kip. Sharon Austin Felder from Virginia yeah. Beach. Hmm? <laughs> don't you try to slap mom. And then you take a, a bite of the bacon. <laughs> and then you get a little cut of that tomato. <laughs> That made a juicy. You see that juice fall off your my my mouth just watered. Okay, y'all. As they say in New Orleans, Lord today. Lord today. <laughs> heirloom. Um, heirloom is Gail Morris spelled H I E R. Like heir like to the throne. Like heir to the throne. Heirloom. L O O M. L O O M. Yes. So it's a good tomato and it has a freshness of taste. Oh and my these god. Came from a a local. Person. Person from uh, 
somebody's backyard. Yes. So they're very good. No. Fresh from the bush. Fresh from the bush. What'd you, <laughs> what you say, Mama? Fresh from the bush. Yeah. Fresh from the bush. Hey, so thank you for coming back again um, to hang out with us with the okra, Mama, and cooked up some okra. One of my favorite meals as a kid. She cooked it all kind of ways. We talked about that today, how my pops would eat okra any kind of way. I only ate it like this growing up, but now I eat it any way I can get it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you, Mom. You're welcome, welcome. All right. <laughs> I, I never get tired of your food. No, I never get tired of being with you. Aww. Aww. Y'all have a good day. Thank y'all for joining time. us hey, again. Happy, happy Father's Day. Love on somebody. Put a smile on your face. Because we have to. Yes. Happy Juneteenth. Y'all have a good weekend. Arriba Dirty and Peace, Love, and what else we say, baby? So! It's been a, a plum pleasing pleasure. As well as a privilege. Hey, y'all have a good one. Take care. Have a good night. Thank you. Happy go Father's Hawks Day. Tomorrow. Oh, go Hawks tomorrow. <laughs> Thank y'all. Good night. Thank you, Shirley Turner. No, I spilled it wrong. You know I've been drinking. All right, Gilmore. You had your hurricane, sis. What did you, you spill wrong? Uh, heirloom. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. All right. Thank y'all. Good night.